Alright, what's up guys? I'm gonna turn this down just real quick. My name is Susan Grind, and today we're doing a very special video. I never do anything like this before, but I feel like this is this is such a important feat that uh, I have to react to this. So two hours ago, uh, we got a redating to the rework, of course. I'm not sure if this is actually uh, when it's applied, because otherwise scores should start calculating about now but i don't think that's the case uh because it's probably gonna happen a little later but i don't know so don't take my word for it but i wanted to react to this because i read a couple lines and uh, i would like to read them in a video because this this is quite interesting when i'm making a video about the rework so thanks to the contributions made by a few enterprising developers in the community we are excited to announce that a new series of difficulty calculation changes will be going live shortly this new this post will go into the what, the who, the when, and the how. So read on to find out more. So this is supposedly going to say when as well. I didn't read the entire thing. There's quite a lot. So we're going to ignore this and just go right to the changes. So the Ozu changes are... Um, not that. But the Ozu changes are, in fact, aim. How difficulty... It, how difficult it is to consistently hit notes back to back, affected by approach rate jumps, flashlight hidden, hard rock, and more. Which they will actually go into this later. Uh, an example for this um, <clears throat> speed. How quickly the new elements are placed. Uh, I mean, presented to the player, affected more by note density, uh, BPM, double time, and half time. So basically. This, I guess this is what could be misconceptioned as just a speed buff, but this actually takes into account of note density, and uh, that is like one of the few things that, and, and BPM is also a bigger thing that we have to talk about later, so I don't know if the note density obviously has been considered before, but I, I think there's some changes now that are definitely buffing some higher BPM plays. Because of note density and B B BPM and stuff like that. We're going to talk about BPM later. So Accuracy. How difficult it, it is to stay rhythmically on time. Affected by hidden hard rock, flashlight, and more. Now, to me, at first, the rhythmic, rhythmic on time thing, and then they said affected by hidden, confused me. And I'll tell you why after my drink. Ground, I'm gonna have a hard time getting back up. So, there are obviously jump maps which you can just slap on hidden on here, like fucking Haramachi Clover. It's the easiest example of a jump map. Oh no, I slapped hidden on Haramachi Clover and I've seen it. I don't want this in my top five. Well, good thing that's probably gonna get nerfed because you know, but hidden. It depends on the map. Obviously, like there's some reading in uh, I cannot carry it. in uh, <gasps> hidden. When it comes to stream maps, it gets a little harder to follow the streams if they're spaced, for bags. example. But not by a huge yeah, margin. A Just anything. it does get harder, but bag. it's not like. I like that. Like I I can I can play like Valley of the Dam no mod, and I can play it hidden. Like it's not, it's I'm not gonna lose more than maybe like, if I if I have can the consistency of a B rank no mod warmed up I would get like, and and I'm talking about like 86 percent B rank, I will get probably like 83 percent C rank with hidden, cause that's that that's the amount of extra misses I would get because you know I'm not a hidden player, uh, but let's say. You take a Nomad map like Sputnik. You play no Sputnik Nomad, and then you compare Sputnik Hidden to Nomad. That's a day and night difference because Sputnik Hidden, that's rhythm, all of a sudden, and uh, Hidden makes that a lot more difficult. And I'm pretty sure they're they're gonna explain 
some of the rhythm in, in that sense later on with the short examples. But that's just one I had to get out there. Like, if you slap <laughs> hidden on any KGG star map, you're likely going to drop a lot of ack. Uh, unless you're good at hidden. Or unless you're used to it more hidden than no mod. Then that's a different thing. If you're if hidden is like no mod for you, because I know there's some people that are like that, uh, then, then that's a completely different story, of course. But... Then we move on to Strain, which Strain is the difficulty of enduring intense or technically demanding patterns, often oh, and for a long really time, extreme. affected by streams, fast jumps, and more. Obviously, death streams are going to be considered here, and a lot of burst patterns, like for example, any gore shit song is going to be buffed by this, most likely, because it takes a lot of... I endurance to play all of those bursts like because it's always like it stops there's a bunch of stops in between the the patterns and the, those sudden stops either requires you to go full alt which if you do that you are mentally insane probably should see a doctor not for the fact that you no, not not for something not here, but for something too. here. You should see you should see a doctor for this. Uh, and well, then there's uh, doing the too. single tapping style where you always no, start no. the first note on whatever no. finger you start your no, streams no. with. You know, your main That's finger. So so if a pen would go one. one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, you would start one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. And that's the yes. hard way of doing it, because the then, um, because right? oh, then it, you're oh, more likely to do a lot of this, right. while your hand keeps it's going up and down and down, up and down and up and down, and then you're you're gonna lose a lot more stamina if you're not used to that kind of uh, feats. This is apple, nice. And I don't mean the one with the two e's nice. in that one. Uh, so let's actually go into the examples they gave, because I already explained yeah, some, so nice. we will actually be able to go through this a little bit quicker. Now, the AIM algorithm obviously has its own sections, so what what is the AIM algorithm? We have patterns with frequent changes in the angles between notes, uh, which is being buffed. The buff is smaller, though, if the angles between the sets of jumps are similar. A good example by a map... Buffed by this change is Daisuke, Moth's expert, which, uh, if you don't know Daisuke, type in Daisuke, hidden double time, Kukizi, and go look at that play right now, and focus on what happens to his aim. He stops his aim in the middle of streams, and then continues. Do you understand how hard that is? If you don't, go play it. Go go even just play it no mod. And if you can pass Moff's expert as like a low five digit as or six digit. If you can p pass that diff, Moff's expert, uh, you are good at the game <laughs> for your rank. You don't have to go around asking top players. Because then I I'm going to say it for you. Um, repeated angler... Jump patterns at high BPM have been buffed. So basically, brain power killer machine. You know where it goes like. Blah, 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 blah. So think of bookmaker stuff like that. A lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, stuff like I don't know if this is a good example because it's not really a jump map, but it is a reading map. But it does have that kind. It does have a square pattern. So think uh, in the meantime, a flowering night fever seven star. Has a lot of alt jumps yeah. with the squares, yeah, but I read and uh, I read this one. I'm gonna read this the one. other map I was gonna con consider is Gengaoso Foon by KGGster. Uh, literally, here? like any diff above Dadas another in that is going to be buffed be sorry, because of this. And this. patterns that feature extreme velocity changes between what? objects have been buffed. So I'm not exactly sure. Of this, you have to make your own research in this, but the example is Bonzi's Ultra by Polygon. So if you're con con curious what this means, just go look at areas, play on Polygon, and there you have it. That's what extreme velocity changes is. 
I'm assuming Gengar also by KGG Easter actually falls into this anyways as well. So I'm not exactly sure what what my voice for. But here's the, here's the one that I'm the most ex excited by. Sliders are now broken down into two movements, the slider itself and the jump after it. So, if you didn't know, a slider was considered a whole singular moment, movement as before. As they say here, like, historically, these were considered as one singular movement. As a part of this change, sliders with multiple re repeats along nothing. their length are also buffed. So, think of Notch Hell. That's buffed. Uh, probably, uh, but not broken down into two movements in the same way yet. Example maps include Black Rover TV size special difficulty. I'm assuming that has a lot of sliders, because uh, otherwise that wouldn't be mentioned. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it would just be a jump map. And then we have KD XX, which uh, if you don't know this song, type Woey KD Hidden. It's the only FC. And uh, the fact that play goes from 200 to like 500, you'll understand why if you under if you look at the map and then go play it yourself. Hello. Um. So we're gonna skip oh, this because this is just more in elaborating, and you can read that yourself. Because I want to talk about rhythm complexity. This is my favorite part, which I'm gonna take a drink. With a new change submitted by Sexar, which is a great guy, by the way, um, Rhythm Complexity will now play a more important role in determining the star rating of a map. This in change introduces an algorithmic assessment where the complexity of note patterns will introduce a more accurate assessment for maps that feature a combinations a typical combinations of triples, doubles, quints, and much more. Now, this is why I'm getting more and more excited every time I speak the more part of the sentence, because this is my favorite change. So, I did mention KTG there earlier. Basically, play any KTG Easter map, and you will understand what this means. If this, I did talk about this earlier with the triple, double, you know, do 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 that kind of stuff. And here they actually have considered these two ribbons, whereas one is just do 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 just a stream, and then one is did it did it did it did. That is more of a rhythm pattern rather than just a singular stream. Well, it's like twenty-seven hours. I'm definitely gonna take more than twenty-seven. So, before this difficulty calculation change, the first pattern would always have a greater screen than the second. In reality, the second can be as demanding or even harder than the first, depending on the map. Uh, for example, we could literally any KGG Easter map, as I mentioned, like 15 times already. Uh, with these new changes, the algorithm now has more accurately ways of... Uh, Reflecting on this. I didn't read that properly. Sorry, but yeah, the algorithm will now reflect more accurately on this and uh, Another map you should look into is matrix His mapping is Also really worth checking out and if I come up with any more mappers, I will mention them uh, I guess I'm not sure if, if what, what he's called. It's like yeah, yeah, something. Just look up the map Mendes on Bloodcat because Mendes is D DMCA'd. But look up Mendes and then look at the mapper name and then uh, uh, yeah, play that. Uh, let's see here. Before uh, we already read that. To summarize how rhythm complexity works, the notes are grouped up into islands. So imagine. I don't know what to example here, but they will they will they will uh, do it uh, for uh, me. Right with a triple uh as expressed with a triple except okay. as a size free island. So Ooh. I'm assuming by this these islands are grouped into the amount of notes in the pattern. So they actually do explain this later. So islands becoming smaller or ra larger, for example, size five to size three, for example, where size five would likely be five notes, and then three would be three notes. 
uh, because that's what they said before. A, a triple will be a size free island. So islands will, which change from even to odd sizes will also be considered. The ratio, haha, L plus you fell off plus cope, M plus I don't know fucking stop. That's what. Um, the ratio of time elapsed between islands changes like. One fourth streams into one third streams. I've never seen one fourth streams really that off. Oh wait, no, I have. That's the normal stream. Okay. So imagine regular sixteenth notes, and then they go into triplets. Um, uh, that's what that is. So for this, uh, I was gonna say Furiso, Furiso Melodia, but. Uh, huh? My preferred example would probably be Hyun. Uh, I will I will bring it up here. Let's uh, get this map right quick. Don't worry, I got this. I know exactly which map I want to show for this. This is this is really important. K G G Stir Hyun. I know this is the artist, but so tr try Grin by Hyun on the KTG Star map, or or try Happy Synthesizer. Th that one has more bursts rather than streams, but the bursts are. Tr if you want a challenge, try the special diff. The special diff of this is really hard. Okay. This this is in an, an insane map to play. No, no, it, no, it, no, just no, look no, at the hard. There's no, only is, okay, a couple right. hard rock FCs on this, and two of those are under 97% ack, and only two of those are over 98. Now let's look at the leaderboard actually here for this. There are some. Wait, is this an FC? Yeah, this is an FC by Red Pixel, but he also did hidden hard rock. Because he's red pixel, and then there's a 95, yeah, and then everything else you can see, hard rock only, there. yeah, good luck playing that. Like hidden hard rock, there's where the rhythm comes in, and yeah, if you see the hidden hard rock, there's only 23 passes even on that, so that's where we will consider the one thirds stuff. These changes all collectively combine to produce a rhythm value that becomes a part of the final star rating. So the star rating changes is what we will talk about next. This I haven't actually considered myself yet. I, I didn't read this far because this is where I wanted to, because this is where I wanted to make the video. Because I saw the, this graph and I was like, oh my god, this is actually huge. So. Here, we will actually skip most of the things, but we will look at the summarizing. To so summarize the star sh changes briefly, star rating now combines the different core skill values mentioned earlier with consideration of how large they are in relation to each other, which is more analogous to how it's done for performance points, whereas... Uh, before it was just a simple sum of each con constituent skill value. In other words, maps which focus on one skill will now receive a lower star rating ra than the ones which focus on many different skills, of course. These changes do not affect star performance points. Star performance points? That's a neat. That, that, that's for the future. You, you're not quite ready for star performance points, but it will happen in the future. Just, just wait until like 2050 if you're still alive by then. I won't be, but you won't. You will probably be that because you're probably like 10 years old playing the game, just trying to figure out what the top 50 easiest 50 PP play, but the rework is. But here's an example: the Fruit of Fire and Flames map everyone knows and loves uh, goes from a 6.1 star to 6.32. Because this one does actually change BPM, which we do. They do consider BPM in this new rework. Um, it does, for the most part, have 200 BPM, just straightforward. It's, uh, it alternates between jumps and bursts for the most part of the map, but there's a lot of streams 
normal streams, long streams. There's even death streams. So th this one has a lot of rhythmic uh, focus on streams. Uh, or like what kinds of streams? It's not it's not complex rhythms, but it's a lot of stream patterns. And bursts and the jumps in between aren't always uh, comfortable either so that's a good thing and then Panda Eyes Teminite Immortal Flame uh, by Sotarx will go from a 7 star to a 6.94 because it's mostly just jumps and you know it's a simple map but it's a good song I like that song I, rem I remember it from a certain uh, uh, Coomer game called Fap Hero. Don't look that up if you're under 18. And if you do, don't blame me if you come addicted to porn. <laughs> this is such a good video. I love this. So, this is a good graph on how to imagine. So, before, speed would start like here. This is what, what you need for a 7 star map. Speed would start here around like 4.8. And end on aim at uh, like 4.7 or something like that. It's, it would start about the same, uh, which it's going to do now. But as you see here, instead of just being jit, jit, it's more of a curve now, a more even change, which I like this now because this may means. We have more even calculation and star rating, which, uh, if you're interested in the mathical, mathematical details, uh, you can read this yourself, basically. Because we're gonna go to flashlight and just briefly, um, uh, just touch on it. Basically, flashlight is more accurate now in how it measures skill. Thanks to this dude, MB Masher. Look at his also profile. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna look at his also profile really quick here, though. The only idea I have in my head right now is way too complex. Look at this dude. This is this is why I don't operate on him. Yeah, look at this dude. He's a four did three did it actually, from Australia. Doesn't he play in a tournament or some shit? I thought he was a tourney player for some reason. He might be. But yeah, you can see he... The what the hell? Six stars Mike Feet Willie. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna download that later. <laughs> I don't know what I stumbled upon, but I seem to have stumbled upon something. But yeah, basically it's gonna calculate this much better now. Read this if you want to yourself. Just pause and read. Cool. Uh, speed... Cap removal before it was at 300 BPM. Now it's not. Now it's basically whenever it uh, is faster than the 300 hit window, which is basically not until 500 BPM, anyways, where the 300 is overlap. And I don't think anyone's gonna death stream 500 BPM anytime soon, anyway, or ever for that matter. And speed is nerf if is success. Uh, yeah, if it's faster. But this is only intended to start to target cheesing. So cheesing still is gonna be. You're not gonna double tap hit Amari and gain 100 PP with the rework. Um, as an added bonus, though, the star ratings of absurdly fast maps are now measured more accurately, which means you can gawk as much as you like at the now even higher star star rating on them. And I like this because this reminds me of Crony with their cock <laughs> cock. I I I enjoy this. I enjoy this. You can now scream about star rating. And minor changes. Slider breaks are no more approximately calculated into the total miscount. Uh, because of Stan R. And instant spinners. No. No longer have the broken way of being existent, but these were I'm not actually sure why this was uh, Changed because instant spinners like uh, Honesty 10 star the loved one th That's not rankable anyways, so I don't really know why this is a change, but what can you do about it? 
Quite literally nothing. Joss spotted at the initial strain for skill started that zero one and not zero. So uh, uh, this has just been fixed. Um, in preparation for Osa Laser, oh, difficult calculation for the blinds mod and relax mod has been added by Apollo. Okay, so this is more for uh, relax for uh, Osa Laser stuff, but this is. Uh, this is something huge because these could potentially be enabled in the future once Oscillator leave or the board's submissions go live, since the concept of ranked mods will be no more. So, basically, relax might give PP when real, when Oscillator happens, but that's that's just a brief thing. Oscillator is way into the future now. I would like to just quickly tell you guys what to what to look into because the rework is right now. So what you can actually look into playing is stuff like Angel Honey. Angel Honey is a really good mapper to play because, as you see, Rog goes up by fuck. Doesn't go up by fuck. He goes up by 484 PP. Uh, sometimes far mappers can make a good map, as you see here by Armin's extra, and more annual honey. Yeah, Emu is just a far mapper anyway. Uh, I don't really know this map, so I'm gonna look into it. And then we have Monstrata. You can, but you have to be careful because not all Monstrata map is gonna gain. Um, basically, don't play Emu. Just play literally like any like. Good mapper. Like, you will see here, Kawashiro, Gabi, Rain, Sophia, Andrea, DJ Pop even. The fact that people shit on DJ Pop is just so stupid. DJ Pop is such an underrated mapper, honestly, dude. I'm gonna download these maps because they're awesome. And then you have KGGster, Angel Honey, Farting, uh... The fart mapper, that is. Fangshan, IKP, Sieg, Muya, Naotomori, Kia, which sounds like a car brand. I didn't know Philippines was a mapper, but that's it. And this is that guy. This is that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the guy I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy with the Mendes map. I'm not even sure if this is going to be... Uh, a ranked map that you can download because a lot of his maps are actually uh, DMCA so yeah so this one I will actually show you really quick how to download this like you, you just do this copy the text like a normal person then you just type whatever blood cats uh, blood cat osu do this uh, and you will probably get Shimo Moe, which I recognize. I, I recommend this. You just type in the, the the song here, and then you find the yeah 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 mapper, and then you see here you can just download the map, and then it will be here. And to also shout out someone who was also quite predominant in the rework, Wiley. We have to look at Willy. Uh, he does lose 15 PP. What a dirty farmer, am I right? Um, let's look at this. So, ignore this song, getting your Kaiko. But focus on this stuff, like... Use E Sengoku, which gains a thousand placements. Uh, 98 PP. I love Egg. And wait for it. Where is it? Relief. Relief is a really good map to play. That's a basically this, this mapper is really insane. Uh, another KGG stir. We we know that one. And Red Goose. Probably the mo the map the map that Willy talks the most about. Red Goose. Um. Yeah. Play Red Goose. In fact. I'm gonna download Red Goose even though I can't FC like the the DT diffs. I'm just gonna download it so that in the future, when I practiced and get better at the game, I can perhaps even play this. 
So, obviously not the top diff. It's the it's more like the another diff, uh, which uh, it's not DTable either. Hyper diff. There we go. This is what you're gonna be DTing, probably. Uh, as you see, there's a uh, more than one DT on this one, and this is definitely gonna gain a lot of PPM. Pretty sure. Let's see. Red goose. Red goose. Uh, 400 to 466. Oh, it's hard rock. So DT is gonna be even better for you if you DT hyper diff. So yeah. My reaction to the PP rework is God damn, I'm excited for this one. It's supposedly going to be flooded and out today. It didn't really say when it was gonna do it, but it's supposedly gonna happen today or some shit like that. And some people are speculating that it's gonna be cancelled, but I don't think so. But basically, these maps play more DJ pop. Uh, find yeah, yeah, yeah maps on Bloodcat. Oh shit, Snowstorm Euphoria. Thank you. As you see, you, most people will be awesome and uh, link maps that are DMCA'd in the description. So don't worry, just go and look in the comments and just download these maps and play them. Because these maps are going to award you some good PP in the rework. And, and also... Go play Sex Source Mike by MB Masher.